What's going on guys? This is Brain from Advancement Hockey Advising here. And today, we'll be talking about how you can use my hockey rankings effectively as a hockey player. My hockey rankings here is such a powerful tool because it basically ranks all the different teams and all the different leagues in North America. And it really gives you a good idea as to where they stand. So all the teams basically that you're interested in, you know, you have a really, really good idea as to where they stand in their respective league. So it's really, really a powerful tool. So you can see now why we want to make this video here for a couple of reasons. First, we want to expose those of you who haven't heard of my hockey rankings and just know that that tool's out there. Second here, for those of you who do know about it, we want to just give you, you know, some advanced tips here, how we kind of navigate it, how we go through it, and also talk about its limitations too. And quite honestly, between this tool and Elite Prospects, you're golden. You have so much information at your disposal that's useful to you that you can make really, really good informed decisions just based on the data. You can at least start narrowing down your decisions. And then obviously you want to talk to experts and everything, but this data really gives you, you know, a clear indication as to where teams stand. So really, if you can learn how to utilize these tools, you'll be great. So if you want to learn more about Elite Prospects, we made a video about it too. You can uh, click the link to it up here. But for now, you know, we'll stick to my hockey rankings. But again, these two tools in combination are going to be great just to get at least started for you guys. All right, now, before I share my screen with you guys, just a quick reminder, as always, to absolutely smash that like button. And if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. All right, so we're on the My Hockey Rankings page here. So basically, if you just look at it, this is kind of what it looks like real quick. So if you go down here on the, the left-hand side here, you're gonna see all the different, um, you know, rankings for all the different ages pretty much, right? So we can just go ahead and we'll click on Junior. Just for, just for fun here. And if you click on one of these, it'll take you to this nice little navigation board here. And you can just basically do the same thing, click all here and just look like if you have junior here, you have USA uh, tier one, tier two, tier three, and then all the Canada major junior, junior A and junior B, um, you know, leagues ranked or yeah, all those leagues uh, ranked, I think. So that's a really powerful tool. If you go ahead and click on college, you can get all the different things, right? Men's it's WD1, D3 and then all these even ranked by um, regions, which is cool. And then even the ones that use sports, Ontario Men's College, all that kind of stuff, they're all ranked as well. And even on the women's side, so my hockey rankings actually ranks for women, so that's actually huge. And also what's nice is they rank for peewee and squirts, or um, in Canada, it's called Adam. So basically they, they rank for all of these. And what's nice about this is that in Elite Prospects, you don't get these type of rankings and uh, you don't get any info on elite prospects about these young of ages. So it's actually quite nice that they, they rank these. And uh, even at the Bantam level, sometimes elite prospects, it won't rank. So it's actually, uh, it's it's nice to have this, you know, it's a, it's a good tool, especially for younger players or and, and parents that are looking at teams. But I would say, yeah, it's, it's nice that they do this. So they rank pretty much all of this, right? And uh, we'll just go, so right now, um, you know, they, you have to play basically, a team has to play 10 games for it to be ranked on here. So most teams yet, you know, haven't played 10 games. Some have, but a lot of teams haven't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the 2019, 2020 season, just because, you know, the pandemic this year, there was no season for, for the most part. So I'll go right here and you'll see that the layout kind of changed for the 2019, 2020. Um, so the new layout, I actually liked it a lot better, but the layout kind of changed. So let's just go, um, let's just go on Canada Junior A, okay, as an example. So if you go on Canada Junior A here, so you'll see it ranks literally every Canadian Junior A team registered in the CJHL, all from one to all the way to 118, okay? So it does this nice ranking for you. So it gives you a really solid idea as to where teams stand, which is really nice. Now, the one thing I wanna mention here is that these rankings are very, are, are, are a general idea, right? So you have to use some critical thinking when it comes to this. They're not all accurate, like completely accurate. It gives you an idea, but you have to think critically. So I'll give you a nice example here. So for example, where are they? Timmins Rock right here, okay? They play in the NOJHL in Canada. Whereas Drum and Haler, they play in Alberta, right? Uh, these guys play in the BCHL and these guys here rock when they play in the CCHL. Now, if you remember from our, our Junior A rankings video that we did, you remember that, you know, the, the, the BCHL is like one of the top leagues, right? 
the AJ is as well. And the CCHL is also up there too. They're great leagues, whereas the NOJHL, nothing against the NOJHL, but it's a little bit lower in the ranking, right? And But in this case, Timmins is actually higher than, than these guys. Now, between you and me, like nothing against Timmins here, but you know they're, they're a great organization in their league and, and they do quite well. But if they were to play a, a top 20 ranked CCHL, BCHL, or AJHL team, Chances are most times, you know, out of 10, nine times out of 10, these teams would probably beat the NOJHL team, okay? And that's just being realistic. Now, the reason why they rank a little bit higher is because my hockey rankings, it takes like the, the, your record is the, the biggest thing. I, it does take your schedule difficulty into, into consideration a little bit, but not enough to the point where they're extremely accurate rankings, okay? So if you look at it, look at the difference here. So 93.18 for schedule difficulty for Timmins, whereas Drum and Haler, it's 94.02. I can guarantee you that they play much harder teams than Timmins does, okay? So that that's just one thing I want you guys to think about. Now, it's not the end of the world. It's still, it still gives you a nice idea as to what the good leagues or what the good teams and, and the different leagues are, right? Because Timmins is up here, they're, they're, a good rule of thumb here is if the team is the first, like let's say you got Timmins is the first team up in the NOJHL, well, chances are they're one of the best teams in the NOJHL. So it's nice, it gives you a guideline that way. But when it comes to comparing uh, teams between different leagues, that's where it gets a little wishy-washy, you know? So I just want you guys to keep that in mind when you're looking at, uh, at these rankings. So I would say that's pretty much it. That's the, the main message that I want to give to you guys. You know, it's easy navigation if we go back here. You can go and click on college, you can go back to junior, you can go to girls, you know. It's a, it's a really nice platform. It's a really good tool to give you an idea, okay, is this team worth my time? Should I consider this team or should I maybe, you know, go um, go consider other teams? And then from there you think critically and uh, don't take these rankings too seriously when you see them either. All right, so let's just do a quick recap of the video here. So first, My Hockey Rankings is a great tool because it basically ranks every uh, team in every league in North America, and it gives you a general idea as to where they all stand. But the second thing you wanna keep in mind here is that it does just only give you a general idea, right? The rankings are a little bit subjective. There's some stuff that you know they don't really consider. So keep that in mind, use your critical thinking skills when looking at these rankings. And again, if you're new here and if you got any kind of value out of this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. All right guys, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on that next one.